In this video, we're going to take a look at a very popular cartridge, the 9mm Parabellum. We're going to see what it takes to load 9mm on the Hornady Lock and Load Progressive Reloading Press. In this video, we'll start with the press basically bare with the proper shell holder in place. We'll then insert the dies, stock our consumables, our primer and our powder, and then validate powder charge fill the case collator, and start loading. To load 9mm ammunition on the Hornady Lock and Load AP Progressive Press, you're going to need a number 8 shell plate. And we've already uh, installed that shell plate on the press. And you can see here that we don't have an ejector wire, so we're using the newer uh, Easy Eject system on the Lock and Load AP Progressive Press. So we're going to take that as our starting point, and next we'll install the dies. So on the Hornady uh, AP, it has five stations, and the sta stations are numbered as such. Station number one uh, comes immediately uh, following case insertion. Station number two, station number three, station number four, and station number five. We're going to take our sizing and depriming die and drop that into station number one. And with an eighth of a turn, we've secured that particular die. After sizing and depriming comes our expander. We're going to leave this uh, station open for our powder measure. So we can take our powder measure, drop that in to this particular station. And then um, we're going to uh, leave station number four open for our powder check die and we're going to put our bullet seating die in station number five. So in this particular video we're going to use all five stations. So we've installed all of the dies except the powder cop die. Next what we're going to, going to do is going to be to fill the powder measure and for this particular load we're going to use uh, Winchester 231 which is a great all-purpose flattened ball powder which meters uh, particularly well with progressive reloaders and so I'm just going to pour that in until it's half maybe three quarters of the way full tap that down a little bit and uh, next what we'll do is we will uh, confirm and work up our charge so that we get the proper uh, number of grains of powder dispensed in each particular load. So to confirm our powder charge we're going to take a piece of uh, spent 9mm brass we're going to put it on our scale we're using a Hornady GF350 in this particular case we're going to turn the scale on and that will zero out the scale to this particular piece of brass with no powder in it. Next we're going to repeatedly take our our brass, put it in the station uh, just ahead of the powder measure, run a load through there, and we want to we want to do that a few times to make sure that the powder uh, in the powder measure gets adjusted and settled down to the density and the configuration that it will be operating under while we're loading after after the powders had a chance to get settled down. So after you've done this a number of times take a load and then we're going to take this back to the scale now. So we're going to take the uh, brass with powder charge put it on our scale and it looks like uh, we're right on uh, the charge that we want for this particular load that we've worked up. So we're ready to go with our powder. The next thing we're going to do is going to be to fill the case feeder bowl with brass. And this is brass that we've already cleaned in a tumbler with uh, the appropriate media. And we've also lubricated this with Hornady One Shot. And even if you have carbide dyes, uh, the lubrication makes the loading process a lot smoother, so I highly recommend it. So we're going to take this uh, bin of brass, we're going to put it into the uh, into the case feed bowl, and so next we can turn the case feed uh, system on, which will start to 
uh, fail to drop two. Next, we'll fill the, the priming system with uh, Winchester small pistol WSP primers. I've already taken a flip tray and oriented these in the proper orientation for uh, using the Hornady pickup tube uh, to pick these primers up. And we just stack them one by one. This uh, priming system has a capacity of 100 primers, so we'll just continue to uh, work our way through this box of primers. And last few primers here. Alright, we're ready to fill up our tube. So we're going to invert the tube and then drop the primers into the priming tube. So what we'll do is just hold the primer tube, remove the hitch pin, and then gently shake to make sure that all of the primers have worked themselves free. Then I'm going to place my weighted rod to aid in feeding and give us a visual indicator when we're done uh, with that load of primers. And to confirm that the priming system is working properly, now that we've filled the priming tube, we're just going to cycle the press once and then confirm that we have our primer. And it looks like uh, that slide is working perfectly. Priming system is ready. Little tip here with the Hornady lock and load press. What we want to do is run one uh, piece of brass through the press. Check to make sure that everything's working before we f start full progressive loading. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this um, small wooden dowel and I'm going to raise the ramp to the top which is going to feed one piece of brass. I'm going to then insert this dowel back here so that when we pick up this piece of brass, we can now uh, cycle the press without feeding new pieces of brass each time and then selectively remove the dowel to feed individual pieces of brass. So in this way we can shut off the flow of brass to the press selectively by using this dowel.